Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to quadruple your daily Phoenix Credit earnings. I, uh, when I first started leveling up, I noticed that you level pretty fast in the division. And um, first I was like, well, that's kind of neat. But I didn't really understand how much of an advantage it could be for uh, to have fast leveling in the game. I got to the Phoenix Group uh, vendor when I first got to max level, and I was like, well, hmm, what... There's a lot of stuff here. How am I going to afford all this stuff? I was like, I was kind of overwhelmed by it. And I, and I started looking at dailies and I was like, man, it is going to take me forever to make enough money in Phoenix credits to buy any stuff here. And I, I looked at the character select screen and I started to realize there might be a reason why you have four character slots because it's not immediately obvious to me why you would because... Uh, you don't really have classes. It's all about your gear and, and your talent build, which you can change at any time. So I and I looked at, uh, you know, kind of basically what my options were, and I I looked at the Phoenix Credit missions. These are your dailies. You're going to get two hard missions a day, which only give you 15 Phoenix credits each, and then you're going to get a challenging mission. And when you first get to max level, those challenging missions, they are extremely difficult. I had really hard time doing those missions and um, so when you actually add it all up it, you're not going to get very much for just off of one character per day um, it's going to be uh, 15 each for the two hard dailies and then 50 for doing one challenging that comes out to 80 phoenix credits a day now obviously in a couple days you're going to have enough to to buy some stuff in there but it's really not going to be very much and it it just seems to me like it would just take way too long if you're just playing one character. And then I found out that every time you earn Phoenix credits sorry, on any character, it goes towards your total. You have a Phoenix credit pool that's shared between all of your characters. And that's really huge because it means that you can run dailies on each and every one of your characters and the Phoenix credits that you earn from those dailies are all going to pull up into your Phoenix credit total. So when you're in the character select screen, uh, you know, it, it's not immediately obvious. You know, it's kind of understand, hard to understand why there's four character slots because there just doesn't, doesn't seem to be any need for them. But it does help you quite a bit because leveling is so fast, it, at first you might go, well, it's going to take too long. It's not. Leveling is quick. So when you add it up, those eight, if you're going to do, if you're going to have four max level characters, you're going to be able to do eight hard dailies and four challenging dailies per day to give you 320 Phoenix credits per day. That's a huge improvement over 80. And again, because you level so fast, it's really not a big deal to max out a, another character. Now, what you want to do is you want to use your stash. Uh, your stash and your Phoenix credits are universal to all of your characters, basically. Whatever you put in your stash on one character, any other character can log in and take material or items that you've put in that stash. Now, as far as I can tell, or at least as I've found, uh, trade crafting material can't be traded. It can't be put in your stash. You can't put it, pass it around between your characters. But items you can so all of your blue and purple items that you're going to deconstruct and turn into um, elite gold crafting material basically you can put in the stash so every time your character finishes doing dailies you take all your blue and purple items and you put them in the stash and you reserve one character on your account to be your crafter basically so every time you get enough Phoenix credits for a, um, a crafting schematic, then you can log into your one character, use all of the uh, crafting material that you've pulled out of the stash and um, deconstructed into crafting material, and use it for all of your crafting. So even if you're just crafting for one character and giving him Phoenix gear, or if you want to give Phoenix gear to all of your characters, now you can do it. And all the stuff that you can 
um, deconstruct from materials or from items, you can turn into crafting material and use on your one crafting mule. And uh, just as a tip for anybody who's uh, just recently gotten to max level and uh, you're just trying to gear up, or if you just want to get as much crafting material as you can, you definitely want to do general assembly because um, apart from not being very hard even on hard difficulty, uh, you're going to get at least six superior drops per mission. You're going to get a few Phoenix credits because the bosses drop them, but not very many. But for superior drops, you're going to have tons of crafting material if you do this mission very often. Plus, you know, even superior weapons can be pretty good just for certain talents. And this gives you a lot of opportunities to get uh, the talent that you want on your weapon. So that's really all I got. It's very simple. It does take a little bit of time, but to me, it's definitely worth it to go for it. So thanks for watching.